Hi, in this video we will learn how to solve for competitive equilibrium in the following environment. Individual 1's utility function is Cobb Douglas x1 y1. Individual 2's utility function is x2 cube y2. Individual 3's utility function is x3 y3 square. The endowment of individual 1 is 2 units of x and 0 units of y. Endowment of individual 2 is 0 units of x and 12 units of y. And endowment of individual 3 is 12 units of x and 0 units of y. We want to find the competitive equilibrium. So we are going to follow the following a four step procedure to do so. Step one is find the demand functions of the three consumers for commodity X and commodity Y. So let us first write the demand function of individual one. Individual one's utility function is X1, Y1. So he's going to spend half of his money on X and half on Y. So the demand function is going to be m1 by 2px and m1 by 2py. Here m1 is the income of individual 1. px and py are prices of x and y respectively. Now individual 2's utility function is x2 cube y2. x2 cube times y2. So he's going to spend 3 fourth of his income on commodity x and 1 fourth of his income on commodity y. So this is how the demand function of individual 2 is going to look. Individual 3's demand function is he's going to spend one third of his income on X and two thirds of his income on Y. Okay, so the step 2 is take one of the prices as numerator and rewrite income as value of the endowments. So let us consider PY as 1. M1 is the value of endowment of individual 1. Well, that's 2PX. M2 is the value of endowment of individual 2 and that is equal to 12PY and since PY is 1, M2 is 12. M3 is the value of endowment of individual 3 and that's equal to 12PX. Step 3 is we are going to rewrite the demands by replacing income by the value of the endowments and price of Y by 1. So x1d, y1d equals m1 by 2px, well m1 is 2px, 2px by 2px is 1, comma, m1 by 2py, m1 is 2px, 2px by 2py, and since py is 1, we are going to get 2px by 2, so that's px. Demand of individual 2 is the following. Individual 2's demand function is 3 by 4 m2 by px, m2 is 12, so you're going to get 9 by px. And demand for y by individual 2 will be 12 by 4 py, and that's 3. Similarly, x3d, y3d, and we are going to get 4 units of x and 8 px units of y. So these are the demand functions of the three individuals for commodity X and Y. Step four is pick any one of the markets and equate the total demand to the total supply and solve for PX. So let us consider market for Y for example. So if you want to equate demand to supply, what is the total demand? Demand is PX plus three plus eight PX. And the total supply of Y is 12 units. Equating demand and supply, we are going to get 9PX equals 9. And therefore, PX equals 1. So the competitive equilibrium price ratio is 1. We can also find the competitive equilibrium allocation here by substituting PX equal to 1 in the demands. So these are the competitive equilibrium prices. 1, 1. And this is the competitive equilibrium allocation. So in the competitive equilibrium, individual 1 consumes 1 unit of x, 1 unit of y. Individual 2 consumes 9 units of x and 3 units of y. Individual 3 consumes 4 units of x and 8 units of y. Thank you.